Hello. This video was chosen by Instagram friends. It will cover immersion pieces and how they are built. So let's cut the foreplay, turn on the lights, and take a look. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. When designing the chassis, having something that worked with multiple cars was important. The light bulb turned on and I thought, why not build a universal base? That way, I can build and swap parts for anything I desire. To build the bright side, profile pieces from an old P1X were used to resemble a passenger area. From there, a rocker panel was built to give some dimension. It's a simple three-sided box using one-inch board, then covered in Alcantara with spray adhesive. Using a cable management box and some spare parts, a continuum transfunctioner was built to store gloves and add a dash of race car flare. To close out the right side, vertical profile pieces hold 2x4 sheets of MDF. This material is used for making other panels and it works great. Purchased from Home Depot for $9 per sheet, it's coated white on one side and chalkboard black on the other. You can also cover the white side, leaving the black exposed to not worry about paint. Bonus. A door was constructed to close out the left side of the room, have a spot to mount cages, and provide easy entry. It mounts to a piece of 4080 profile to space it off the chassis and uses standard door hinges from a hardware store. It's built with a simple 1x2 frame, layered on both sides with the same MDF, then covered in Alcantara as well. The top of the door features horizontal and vertical panels to close out the space between the door and the monitor. Overall, the design weighs around 10 pounds and can be removed or replaced by sliding out the pins. The cages are made from standard PVC tubing. The left side cage fits in the holes on the rocker. Any new cages can be built and swapped in minutes to match any car. The pedal tray is pretty simple. Two ABS sheets close out the sides and are attached with Velcro. The very front panel is MDF, allowing easy removal for access. The canopy uses 2020 profile, mounted to the monitor uprights using a spare bracket from the old chassis. Materials are quarter inch foam core in the center, eighth inch black mat board on the sides, then covered in, you guessed it. So now the box is built. Let's take a look at what's inside. One thing I noticed, if what I built was too large or detailed, it would distract from the car and hinder a cohesive result. Considering this, leaving things a little ambiguous was important. Another important thing about sizing was seating position and gear placement. The more realistic I could get this, the more realistic the trim panels felt, including the height of the door and cages. Also, if you are planning on building something like this, having your seating position and gear in its final position is crucial and will save you time in the long run from having to remake something, like I did. The most common question I get is about the console, how it's made and how it's mounted. I'll cover this in a little more detail since it's the only piece I have some progress footage on. The base was made from a 1 inch shelf cut down to 6 inches wide, scored on clearance for 5 bucks from a hardware store. Bonus! A hole was cut to hold the stream deck in place, a little clearance for the shifter was filed, then all the edges were rounded. Adhesive backed Alcantara was used to cover the base due to its shorter nap and was preferred. The closeout panel is the same MDF used for other panels and uses interference fit for easy removal. For mounting, 4040 profile was set at a comfortable angle using spare wheelbase brackets. The panel for the 5 inch display and Stream Deck Mini was revised from the process footage, but the materials are the same. The dashboard is pre made and was purchased from Apex Sim Racing. It uses real carbon and it features the LED upgrade. Covering it was required to fight glare from the filming light, which is a bummer because it is really nice. ABS panels were cut for around the switches. Extra stickers from the Cimetal wheel were used to dim the lights. 
The right side of the dash uses the same MDF panel and covers the profile used to mount the fire extinguisher. Underneath the dash uses panels mounted to the chassis with 5mm bolts. Everything blends in nicely with the console, rounding out the complete assembly. To finish off the dash, another MDF panel was cut and covered to close out the gap between the monitor. For as simple as it is, it's one of my favorite pieces. Although it was tedious to plan, the end result is a good mix of form and function. With some thought and basic hand tools, I now have a solid universal base to add to or change whenever I want. New pieces and other configurations will be covered in later videos, and frankly, I am excited for the next configuration, which should be LMP. If you made it this far, no typical poetic waxing due to length, and I respect your time if you give it to me. I do hope this helps and inspires you on your project. Thank you for watching. As always, questions are welcome. Until the next video, my name is Kevin, and I am Sense of Speed.